It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome to another live episode here. Another, uh... It's Sunday. It's Sunday. I don't like that it's getting dark. Me either. Earlier now. Boo. But how is everyone? This is pre-Thanksgiving hey, week. Cool. Yep. Um, and, uh, we already have... We've been, we've been, you know, we having some... Having some... Some thanksgiving is food already. Yeah, yeah. I would say we've had more than some. Mm -hmm. It is my Tur favorite holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. That's good. Did make a big turkey already. Yes. And currently... Currently nibbling on that. Leftovers on that. That's right. Um, if you're here for the uncorkings, even if you're not, but just uh, want to let you guys know that uh, timestamps will be down in a pinned comment. So if you want to jump around, mm -hmm. that's of course on the replay. Can't do that live. <laughs> That would be weird. That would be weird. But we wouldn't want to watch. We're going to go ahead and start our first uncorking and Ooh, okay. um, let us know what you guys are drinking. I know uh, from the pregame squad that uh, mm. um, at least a couple people are drinking the same stuff that we are along with us here. Oh, nice. Tonight, or at least one of them or so forth. So call that out. Let us know. But we're going to start with this Maker's Mark. <coughs> that went down the wrong way. Sorry. Oh, no. <coughs> I'm okay. This is the RC6. Yeah, so this is uh, a, an LE, technically. Mm -hmm. This is a limited edition Maker's Mark. 108.2 proof. Mm. Barrel finish for amplified notes of fruit, balancing sweet, and spice. Well, there you go. Stave details. 10 virgin toasted American oak staves. Well, that's like the normal um, private selection, mm -hmm. right? So, But this is the wood finishing series. Yeah, and I think they, they did, like, they developed, what'd you say? This six, yeah, like, so they made this RC6 profile, so I think this is the first time that they're implementing it, hmm. and they'll probably develop a new profile for next year and so on and so forth. I'd say so. I, I mean, this imagine. is the game that they should be getting into. Yes. Like, um, yes. We added 10 based staves on the way everyone's going. to each Maker's Mark barrel and then place it in our limestone cellar for an extra finishing process. So it looks like this is regular Maker's Cast Drink. Then they slide in those 10 RC6 staves. Mm -hmm. Then they let it rest for a little while longer. And then... Do they cut it? Or is this just... Well, you, I mean, you said cast strength. I mean, 108.2 is, is low... On the lower end for a cast well, strength. Well, I feel like the cast strength we have is like 110. Yeah, so I guess true. Maybe that's just for them. Within the, the realm. Um, I saw a Peter Baker here who is... Tuning in from Canada and first time on the live stream, drinking Eagle Rare. Welcome. Ah, very nice. Thanks for joining us, all of you. Yes. But, you know, I always like, if I can, just give a little welcome to our first time watchers. Yes. A lot of you guys are uh, long time listeners and then free wing callers. <laughs> awesome. So. Yeah. All right, here we go for the cork pop. I've heard a lot of people talking about this recently and people asking, like, are we going to review it? What are our thoughts on it and haven't been able to share? Yeah, Swan, uh, oh, there he is. Swan he is um, found this bottle for us, and it's open now, Swan, so next time you're over, uh, feel free to have a pour with us. Please do. Oh, the glug glug noise. The, the new glug, bottle. The glug glug. <clears throat> this is a lot for me. Then switch me. Thanks. Yes. Appreciate it. Can't do that with all of them. On a Sunday. You know, I have to work tomorrow. She has to work tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely toasty. Andrew Norris is joining us with the RC6. Hmm. I'm a little... Sorry. A little, a little stuffed stuffy. Up. <laughs> I'm a little stuffy today. Sorry. So I might not it's be okay. on point with my nosing notes. Uh, Randy Butler says, Happy Wild Turkey Day. Hey. We will actually be celebrating our Wild Turkey Day next Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be having Thanksgiving leftovers. <laughs> so turkey. Yeah, turkey leftovers. You get it. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks, Randy. Ooh. I agree with this balancing sweet and spice. Like, there is sweet, but it kind of made my mouth water a little bit. But it is balanced out with that spice at the end. Wow, yeah. Initial reactions? 
I like it. <laughs> I've been very pleased with what they've been doing over the past like two or three years with yeah. um, going more down toward like the experimental route and the cast strength stuff. I think that they figured out that they have the masses covered with just regular makers and makers 46. And mm-hmm. like, how do we get, you know, a more established bourbon drinker? Not saying that established bourbon drinkers don't like makers mark. I just feel like that's very mainstream, and it is. It's fine. Yeah. I don't mean that in a bad way. I think this is more like, you know, we're very into cast strength stuff, and mm-hmm. so then we didn't gravitate towards regular makers, so I feel like they're understanding their different audiences and yeah. coming out with products to suit them. That's the best way to say it without offending anyone. <laughs> I don't mean to offend anyone. My entire family loves Maker's Mark. It's true. And they have it at every holiday Actually, event. you're kind of the black sheep. I'm the black sheep of my family for being like, mm, regular Maker's Mark, not for yeah. me. But see, if I brought this, I would love it and they would all be like, whoo. Yeah. I feel like we now can say we're a fan of everything Maker's Mark except the 90 proof version. Mm-hmm. That still just doesn't hit the right notes for us. Even in a Coke, I'm not a I'm not a Makers and Coke fan. Um, I'm just not a regular it's just base, sweet. base makers. Yeah. yeah. But this, the 46, the cast strength, the 101, the yeah. gift shop. Mm-hmm. Uh, gift oh, shop I and, love and, that. And, uh, and I don't know if they're still doing duty-free shops. Or I don't know. Th- that's how it started. Now it's a gift shop thing. Yeah. Um, that's really good. I just think anything not 90 proof. Right. But that's kind of, I mean, not but, that we don't like anything 90 proof, but yeah, for theirs being sweet and lower proof, it just doesn't Eagle hit. Rare, Buffalo Trace. He's going to name 90 proof things now. Uh, other things that are 90 proof. A fourth example after that. <laughs> well, we like a lot of Jim Beam stuff, which hangs out at the 86. Oh, yeah, 86. And then Larceny, mm-hmm. 92, you know, so there's... 94 with uh, Elijah, Elijah Craig. Craig. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's not, it's not the proof... Ness it's alone. Alone. It's not the mash bill, obviously, because we Mm-mm. like weeders. Um, it's just I don't know. Something I about don't. It. Know. You can't put your finger on it. Can't put my finger. But on it. it makes us happy. That this they make something for everyone, right? Uh, it makes me happy to find things that I like. This is really toasty. It is so toasty. It's I'm still getting hugged, <sighs> and I've just had what I think I've only had one sip. I might have had two. I had yeah, I don't two. know. Don't who's, realize who's our sip counter. Uh, <clears throat> people are commenting on your collared shirt. And that it's fancy. Ah, thank you. Yes, this comes to us from the Aussies. Uh, Bourbon Tasters International. Yeah, yeah. Uh, This was a present last time they were in town and brought us goodies. Thanks, David. Uh, Including some uh, Blantons, as uh, as they do. And uh, they brought us both uh, one of these shirts. So I'm, I'm, uh, I think it's the first time I've worn it on here. Probably so, if you guys are commenting about it. Uh, Orlando wants to know, so what is around our preferred proof? Um... I mean, it really just depends on my mood. Like, I can get super into, again, like Elijah Craig, small batch at 94, but then I'll turn around and be like, you know, a Booker's that's 130-ish, like, you know, hanging around there. Like, I'm also into that. So, I don't know. I feel like on a regular, like, everyday kind of basis, Mm -hmm. eh, I like something between the... Hundred to hundred and ten, hundred and fifteen. Yes. You know I love Pikesville Rye. That's one fifteen. Mm-hmm. Um, Old Forester nineteen. One ten, I think. I think you're thinking nineteen twenty. Which is one fifteen. Well, yeah. Whoops. Pikesville one ten, nineteen twenty one. That's 15. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, this I is great say, at one oh eight. Um, yeah. It's great proof. I would say, we typically like to start at eighty six and go up from there. <laughs> You know, just as a general rule, uh, Evan Williams, 1783, mm-hmm. 86 proof. Yeah. Some of the Jim Beams, like the um, uh, Black is 86. Distiller's is Cut? De- Devil's Cut. Yeah, Distiller's Cut, Devil's Cut, I think are both 86. I think the Double Oak is 86, too. No, I want to say that's 100. Oh, well, fine. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, we can't we can't memorize all these. John things. says, fancy collar, Chad. Pinky's up. You get a pinky up, uh, Cowbell Cheers. <laughs> To John. So lovely to see you in the chat. Oh, the distiller's cut is the hundred proof. Okay, my bad. I was some for think I was thinking that that was the <laughs> repeal batch, which is though, isn't it? Repeal batch is 86. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm um, more mixed up than a milkshake today. <laughs> mixed up than a milkshake, girl. Uh, it's not my day. I also think bottle and bonds are a great 
starting point mm. for us too. Mm -hmm. That hunter proves there's just something magical about it. Yeah. But also, like I said, you know, the Eagle Rare, the the, the Buffalo Traces of the world, mm -hmm. those 90 proofers can, they have their place too. This has so much flavor. I really like it. I really like it too. I, gonna put it this is in nice our, and warm. It is nice and warm. We're going to put this in our blinds. Ooh. Best of 2019 Ooh. contender. I mean, I think it should. I think it should go in there. Yeah. Like We'll see how, how it does. I've reacted more strongly to other things that we've uncorked this year, but you never know. Something yeah. can always grow on you. I think this belongs in there. I would be delighted to try it again. Maybe we still have some, we're, maybe we're still harboring some maker's bias that we're, right, we, that we're that, not uncovering. Because it's not blind. Right, because yeah. it's not blind. I so think that's we fair. We should put it in there blind. Fair enough. Yeah. And that's a process that we're going to be starting pretty soon. Fill up the. We need to start it probably this week. Four ounce vials. You guys should do this too. Yeah, you should. Take any contender that you think would do well for you. Uh, best of 2019. What we do is anything that came out. Like it, it helps can't if just you have more be, than four. Can't just be. Oh, it's the 2019 version of Eagle Rare. Like I bought this bottle of Eagle Rare in, in 2019. Because so. that, that doesn't count. But like you know, the Bookers. Those are four unique. 2019 releases. This is a 2019 release. Um, you know, all the LEs that come out in 2019 or 2018 re releases. So things like that. That's you know, that's how we keep it to a smaller group. Even though it's still a pretty big group. It is. Yeah. I just need a little bit more to toast Keith. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. He says, I know it's not Christmas yet, but it seems to... This feels like a bottle I'm going to drop, by the way, oh, when I'm pouring it. Don't do it. that, please. Yeah. Uh, but it seems to be that way in all the stores. So how about a Christmas cowbell for everybody? You got it, Keith. Have a very merry cowbell cheers. I wanted to do like a... Oh, wait, you can't do it because there's no tone. I wanted to do like a little Christmas jingle tap, but it's not like going to Like jingle bells? I should have done it with... The triangle. Well, it's that fine. doesn't change pitch either. I know, but <laughs> I wish you could tap to different places and it would make a different. I don't know. I'm not as musically she inclined as a, you. She needs a um, oh, steel what? drum. No, I want one of those things like they play. Uh, a little xylophone? Yeah. Like, For the morning announcements? It, the morning announcements boom, in Greece. Boom, boom. boom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and okay. at the end of the year, she gets all excited and does the whole thing. I liked it. Okay. I, I always like that. Yes. <laughs> uh... Okay. No, I like it. It's uh, it's got a nice, you know. I feel like we've been saying this here lately, deep dark kind of uh, mm. tone to the flavor. We've sort of been speaking in tones here lately. Tones. Um, it does have some good barrel notes on there, and it is pretty rich. Someone asked about the mouthfeel earlier. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I would say it's of exceptional quality. No. But it's a really good mouthfeel. It's nice. Yeah. It's a little dry. Really? I'm not picking that up. Mm. But it's good. I like it a lot. It's not super like oily. Uh, they would like to know if you've lost your ring already. Oh. He just <laughs> has the luxury of. See, I don't wear my ring for one day, and people are like, "Oh my god, what happened?" Chad does, you know, whatever. Sorry. Yeah. Um, it's okay. You know, you it's, don't love me. It's, it's the fine. it's the weekend. Uh, I'm lazy. I didn't put it on after my shower. I'm sorry. You should. I can go be. get it. Then I, I would not like for you to leave right then, now. Then I could stand up. Let's stay here. Okay, we're gonna stay. Well, you heard Kyle it. says to a great couple that shares in bourbon and life. Cheers. Thanks, Kyle. Give me one second, Kyle. Then we should move on to the next bottle. Yes. Uh, Orlando says, my next goal is to find a George T. Stagg or Stagg Jr. I wish you luck in that. That sounds nice. You should. Cheers, Kyle. Find them and enjoy. Um, <laughs> Steve says, wow, Sarah's already pulling out the you don't love me card. It's a joke. She does it uh, every other day. We pretty much every, yeah. yeah. Every day. I, I say it to it's her. It's okay. You just don't love me. I we say, say it to, to each too. other. Yeah. yeah. It's our... It's our nice little um, thing. David says, you guys inspired me to buy my first bottle of bourbon. Thanks. Oh, well, I hope you enjoy it. Otherwise, it's on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. See? Whiskey Crusaders right there. Doesn't... Does what? Matt's not wearing his at home either. Ah, well. I guess I just, you know, care too much. <clears throat> just nods. Nods and keeps reading. Uh... So Joseph was talking about a conversation that we had about finished tape. I, I don't know if I would call this, so let's take take a pulse, take a poll here. If it's a Applewood 
smoked stave. Is that different than just like a toasted stave? They're both imparting flavor. They are both imparting flavor, but so does a charred barrel. So if it's just a regular charred stave, I mean, I don't know, I'm asking, like is a apple, apple wood stave, is that just from a different type of tree that gives it that apple taste? Or is there some type of treatment there on that stave to make it an apple smoked stave? You know what I mean? That's a good question. So that that's where the need to be. I'm not an expert on apple wood staves, so um, I can't say. Yeah, like those, I just think, like with the 46, they do... Oh, that was the easiest one I've ever <laughs> opened. They do like French oak, but it's still oak. They toast and sear. It's just different ways that they... Um, like, app, I'm thinking it's probably app, wood from apple trees. I don't know. So, I don't, don't know. know. Don't know. Don't know either. <laughs> Sticky, I hate David it. David says, Chad, looking mighty professional, like you could be a distillery tour guide. Well, thank you. These always yeah. hurt, and I hate that. And his wife doesn't wear her ring uh, where she Where, where she, she works. Yeah. Something like well, that. I guess I'll stop wearing mine, too. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. I like it. <laughs> okay, moving on to our second uncorking of the evening. This is the Knob Creek Quarter Oak. I want to call it quarter cask every time. Um, we did. I did this with uh, Perry on This Is My Bourbon Podcast. That episode's out now. Um, I hate that bottle. But... We'd like to get your opinion on them, of course. Me? Oh, okay. Um, and that's why Sarah doesn't get to uncork, Joseph says. <laughs> yeah, well, those bottles are particularly difficult. And they hurt. It's, it's tough. I don't like it. Oh, Ron's the uh, 25th anniversary Knob Creek. Oh, this is We weird. like that a lot. <clears throat> yeah, so the deal with this is it's not all in quarter cask size barrels. It's still a lot... Well, I don't know the the ratio, but it's still 53 gallon Knob Creek barrels, and then some are put into a quarter cask for a period of time, mm -hmm. and then they're married together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's 100 proof. Yep. Has a medallion on it. It does. So it's, that it's must limited. mean it's good. <laughs> ADHD fishing says five dollars to love. To love. Thank you. I think your nose is a little young. It's a little musty. And it's got like a, almost a wood and pineapple note. Yeah, kind of walnut. It, I mean, it, there, is a, there is a nuttiness about it, but it's not your typical beam nuttiness. Mm. Maybe a little sweeter than... Normal. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this one. It seems to be, just off first sip, first sip impressions, it seems to kind of be lacking some personality. I agree. I think it's a little bit bitter from the wood. Just a little. I think it's tasting a little bit younger than some of their other stuff, and I think it's really dry. It is a little dry. So this is a limited release. Portion of our bourbon is rested in quarter cask barrels and married with Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So this is basically regular Knob Creek married with some quarter sized barrels from your typical 53 gallon barrels. Mm, it hurts me to say something about this from Knob Creek because I, I do love so many Jim Beam things, but... Mm, Back to the makers. I'm gonna give this one a pass. It's, it's so dry. My tongue is like, I just took a drink of water and it's still dry. So this is my third time tasting it. We Someone had it um, at, at the hotel where we had our meetup uh, in Frankfurt. Oh yeah, I remember that. But I don't think I tried any that night. And sorry, I, can't I remember. don't remember who brought that bottle. Well, <laughs> There were so many. Uh, I had it with Perry. Yeah. And then now we're having ours. Okay. And each time, did you feel differently about it or do you feel no, the same? No, I felt, well, I don't remember from the hotel. But from Perry's bottle to this bottle, I'm having the same reaction, which is a little underwhelmed. Yeah. I would rather have the regular 100 proof small batch Knob Creek. 100% agree. For half the price. You know, I think I would probably rather have 
like the repeal batch or the uh, distiller's cut. Wow. I'm not, That's a lot less money. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling this one. There's a... There's just a something weird a, going on there, and it's a weird... Uh, uh. And I said this, I don't want to, if people have and listened... And what was the cost? It's like 50 bucks. Mm, no. 50, 55 bucks. I, um, love you, I love you, Jim Beam, <laughs> but not this. If people have listened to Perry's podcast, I don't want to sound like a broken record. I said this on there, too, but... Um, well, now I forgot what I was going to say. Daggone it. Was it about how this is dry? No. Was it about other Jim Beam things that you would rather have? Maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I remember. I was it, like, he'll get there. Yeah, I got there. It was, you know, occasionally we'll, we'll be around master distillers for different things. And on the chances that I get to have a little talk with them a lot of times, or I, I used to do this more because I was really curious about the topic. I would ask them about the smaller casks. Mm -hmm. And You did like to ask that question. Yes, it was one of my questions. It's just one of his things. Well, I would just like... If the if the smaller cast speeds up the aging process, why isn't everybody doing it? So correct. At one point, I asked um, uh, Harlan Wheatley of Buffalo Trace, and he said we tried it because you know they have like ten thousand experimental they barrels. They have a huge. Yeah. They're all into that experimenting. They have a whole warehouse for experiments. Said we tried it. They're into it. <laughs> yeah, they're into it. Um, it. It was just too unpredictable. You know, mm. like you, you would have to be trying it daily because if you miss that that sweet spot that sweet then spot it's done. is like it just wasn't worth it it just didn't it's it's not it's not worth it was the takeaway right that, that I took from it and i feel like this it wasn't it's not worth it it's not worth the money it's yeah it tastes like a 20 dollar bourbon inside of you know <laughs> and they're charging 50 what's funny oh what swan said is about making a sandwich and changing your pants that was from the, the podcast mm. um so it's an yes. inside joke. Yes. Or an in joke, as Perry calls them. In I was joke. Like, in joke? Like, is that you trying to say inside joke? He's it's, like, it's like, yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> bear, bear. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Andrew says, what's the ABV? This is a 100 proof. It's a 50% ABV. Um, William, I have a little bit left in my glass. About to finish my Stag Junior 132.3 proof batch. It's ruined me. Thoughts on high proof addiction and Stag Junior in general. Okay. Love Stag Junior in general. Thank you. And also, I wouldn't say that high proof things have ruined me, but I do find fewer things that are lower proof that I enjoy as much. Like, there are still some things out there that I like. And again, I think it's like the occasion, right? You can't drink Stag Junior all night. So say you're going to like a cocktail party or something and you want to have a few drinks. Like you can pretty much have two Stag Juniors. I mean, I mean, you can have however many you want, but something like Buffalo Trace is great yeah. because you can sip it and you could sip it for an evening and it's not going to kick you in the face like Stag Junior will. Correct. So it's got its time and place. I mean, I love Stag Junior. I love high proof stuff, but I also can't dr drink Booker's all night except for at our wedding because <laughs> somehow like you have super strength adrenaline running. I don't know, something yeah. like that. And I just managed to be able to drink Booker's all night and not get crazy. Yeah. You got a little bit left, don't you? Of the, not of that. Well, I was just using it oh, for cheering. Oh, for the cheers. For cheers and oh, purposes. Okay. Um, Glenn from, and Kathy from Golf Whiskey say, found a Knob Creek 12 year old and 100 proof, 12 year old 100 proof yesterday. Have we tried it yet? We haven't, we haven't seen it yet. Mm -mm. We get things last here <laughs> generally, which doesn't really make any sense, but that's no, just how it works. Thank you for that, Glenn and Kathy. Um, would obviously love to, I think, yeah, 12 year Knob Creek. I mean, oh. yeah. I'm excited to try that. Mm -hmm. Most people would be like, well, that's the same thing as getting like the single barrel pick from your local store. I'm like, yeah, kind of yes and kind of no. Like you can get a lot of, you know, barrel pick Knob Creeks that are 12 to 15 years old. Yeah. But the nice thing about this one is that it will be more consistent, right? Because those are single barrels, so they're going to have their own personalities. Yep. So if you're into consistency, mm -hmm. if you don't like trying new things, I don't know. <laughs> Some yeah. people just want to know what they're buying when they're spending that much money on a oh, bottle. Absolutely. Uh, Adam Terry, I am still looking for a Baker's 7. 
Yes. Um, although I think uh, Jim Beam Distillery is actually having a, a release in, oh. in December where they're going to have the 13 and, and the other and some other stuff. Well, then we might need to there. be a part of that. Yeah. One old Texan says, oh, to Whiskey Crusaders, I just found your YouTube channel and I have followed. Yay. I love connect like yes that's great the opposite that's of awesome. misconnections <laughs> found connections found connections yeah i always wish that i had checked that out whenever it was a real thing like oh. it might still be a real thing but that it just seems may, entertaining may to be. me so um, nick says he tried the 1792 12 years speaking of 12 years and was very underwhelmed 1792 bottled and bond was better to me okay we've not tried the 12 year 1792 either mm. we've seen it we've seen it apparently it's like one of the harder things to get yeah we um, might not even be able to get a bottle of that, so. Who knows? Don says, if I win the Pappy Lottery, I'm flying back to Kentucky because I would not trust the mail. <laughs> More on that here in a I second. I don't blame you. Yes. Thank you, Don. Appreciate it. Um, we can go ahead and talk about that. So, um, mm. someone in our wonderfully awesome Patreon community brought up uh, this... Um, Pappy raffle that the Ron McDonald House of uh, Central Kentucky or Kentucky Anna, I think they call it, is doing. Um, so if you want to go ahead and uh, post that link there, Sarah. Yes, I will. So there is the link right there from us. There is, as of looking at it right now, um, well, I don't think we can see it on that screen. Oh, do you need me to get out of it? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. No. Uh, but around 900 tickets left. There's 2,000 total. So tickets are already on sale now, and they will go until December fifth, or so until not too long, or until sold out, whichever occurs first. Two thousand tickets will be sold. It's a hundred dollars a ticket, mm -hmm. but it goes towards the Ron McDonald House of Central Kentucky. And if you win, one winner will get Old Rip Ten Year. The next one, wow. <laughs> a lot B, a lot B twelve year, Pappy Van Winkle. 15 year, this... Pappy Van Winkle, 20 year, mm -hmm. Pappy Van Winkle, 23 year. year, full bottles. Full bottles. All five, so one person. It is a $100 raffle ticket, yes, but it's for the Ronald McDonald House. Mm -hmm. Benefiting Ronald McDonald House. So like, I don't know, I feel like people enter raffles all the time for this kind of stuff and it's nice that, you know, it's a charitable cause. If you're gonna try your luck at getting the Pappy lineup, then at least like, when you don't get it, because obviously only one person can win. Not saying that you won't get it, I don't know. But then you at least can feel a little warm and fuzzy about, about the nice thing. Yeah. So we got a that. couple couple super chats yes, here. I'm out of I'm out of You're I'm, out of stuff? I'm well out of let's stuff. just go ahead and pull the um Yeah. Thank you, the Nick. Joseph Magnus. You go first. I'll get you. If you want to go ahead and read Ryan. Ryan says free <laughs> Free four ninety nine super chat to certain channels. If you happen to be a certain channel, please do not spend it all in one place. <laughs> I think I get it. I'm not sure. I'm Thanks, Brian. Going to smile and nod. Yeah. As if I do. Thank you for that. Don't Ryan. spend it all in one place, Chad. I shan't. Cheers. Mm. Ian, that bourbon guy. In case you don't know. Ooh, that's smoky. Yes. Uh, so picked up a new sing. A new single, new riff single barrel that's mint oak dot com bomb. What? <laughs> we'll be saving it for the next meetup. Okay. That sounds cool. Sweet. Sounds pretty good. Thank you, Ian. Um. Thanks, Ian. That's awesome. We still have the tiniest bit left of that uh, new riff rye. Mm. We're we're uh, we're saving. Working on it. Saving that, but it's really good. This is one of the most savory things. It is. It is. So this is um, shout out. Um, it's a little little hair there. Don't you worry about that. Uh, shout out to Eric Waite. This is something that we uncorked via oh. the internet uh, over on his channel, Eric Waite Whiskey Studies. Just uh, type in Eric Waite on YouTube, and you can find him and and give him a, a subscribe if you haven't already. This is the Joseph Magnus triple cast finish. It's 100 proof. It's straight bourbon whiskey finished in sherry and cognac cast. Yeah. So. And it is smoky. Yeah. And like, we were very 
savory. Drinking on this last night, so we thought we would. Um, I, I feel like after we, dinner, we may have had this on a live once upon a time, but I don't think we really gave it a, an official review. And if you want to see that, um, my review when I corked it with Eric, again go to his channel, mm. check it out. Were we not on that together? Was that just you and him? Just me. You weren't able to make it. Oh. You had a work thing come up. You were going to be on it. Oh, but then I had a work thing come up. That sounds like me. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like something I would do. And they, uh, the company actually sent us the cigar blend. Um, I'm excited to try that. So that will be an actual uncorking episode, I do believe. At some point in the near future. At some point. So we'll uh, we'll give you a review of that as well. Ooh, uh, and Matt from Whiskey Crusader says the cigar blend is magical. There you go. So now I'm even more excited to try it. Yeah. Because he hasn't led me astray yet. But you know, neither of us are really cigar... <clears throat> Excuse me. Cigar smokers? No, but okay, so the thing about cigars is I like the faint smell of one when it's somewhere like open air. Mm -hmm. So like if I smell one, it kind of sometimes get that like smoky vanilla kind of waft and I'm like, oh, that's kind of pleasant. It's, the waft. It's kind of warm and nice, but actually like walking into a cigar bar where it's just cigar smoke, I can't. Sure. It gives me a headache. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I know there are a lot of cigar smokers out there and like every now and then I'll like try a little bit, but I've never smoked a whole cigar and nor do I ever see myself doing that in the future. Yeah. I just get a headache after like four, four yeah, five yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a puffs. I don't know. Kind of a headache inducing thing. It's um, just not my thing. Yeah, man, we we do have the cigar blend. We're we're gonna be uh, uncorking that. So They're saying it doesn't taste like point. cigars. Okay. I'm sure it's just meant yeah. to like pair well with a cigar. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For but it also sure. pairs well with pie, probably. <laughs> there you go. It's the type of pairing I can get behind. Yeah, we like we like bourbon and pie. Yes. Oh, we did the pie episode last year. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again this year. There's not enough different kinds of pie. I know. Oh, well. Yeah. That was fun. You can go watch it. <laughs> uh, Swan agrees, but walking into the fog the fog machine that is cigar bars is way too much. Yeah. Totally. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and Steve A is, is agreeing. Um, cigar blend is meant Adam, to pair with cigar and not taste like one. <laughs> yeah. Adam says, are you guys planning to do another Halloween meetup next year? Sad I missed this year. Stupid, Stupid baby. baby. Aww, Let that be a baby. lesson to you people. No. Don't be going having babies. It'll make you meet, miss meetups. No. Or meet miss-ups. You only, you know, your baby will get older and be more self-sufficient and you can go to meetups. It'll be fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do another meetup. I don't know if we'll do one at Halloween next year. Can't, Pie gives me a headache? Can't Come commit on. to that. Some people don't. Sugar gives them headaches. That's so true. True, true. Don't judge. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know if we're going to do Halloween next year. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, just bring, Yeah, just bring her with you next year. It'll be fun. You could just strap her to the front. Little baby Bjorn. Yeah. Hey, Hot Buttery Rolls is in the chat. What's happening? Welcome. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. This is... It's actually making me kind of toasty in this sweatshirt. Welcome, Charles. Says, sorry, I'm, sorry I'm late, but 371 watching and only 78 likes. I mean, I would I would echo that. And just those, I don't know. those two standard thumbs down. Do you think this same person logs in every Sunday just to be like, nope, yes. and then leaves? Yes. You think it's just I the same? I think they have like a schedule. The same like, hater I every give, week? I want to give thumbs down to these channels. I have to log in. I'm like, oh, this is work. I need to hire yeah. an intern. I, I just don't <laughs> know that I would. It's always two though, right? I feel like it's gotta be the same two people. Yeah. Now it'll be like five, cause I said that. Absolutely. Someone else will be like, I yeah. also dislike. Oh, there's a third one. <laughs> yeah, haters gonna hate. That's I, fine. Oh, and there's a fourth one. <laughs> Thanks um, guys, appreciate it. Orlando says, any Kentucky coins left? Yes, yes there are. There are, uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're down. They are in, they can fit in Less than one tackle box, which is how mm. we have them sorted <laughs> in a tackle yeah. box. Uh, thank you to Scotch Chest Dummies for giving us that suggestion. It, who would have ever thought a tackle box? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Adam Terry says it's probably the same jerk for my comments. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. <laughs> You'd be surprised. That's just the first one I've posted. That is not the first one. Hey, but we yeah, just we got, got another thumbs up. It felt super great seeing it, though, the morning after Friendsgiving when I stuffed myself with turkey and stuffing and gravy and pie. And then to wake up and be like, Sarah used to be so pretty and thin. And I love watching videos when she used to be. And I was well, like, oh. That comment got deleted. 
Oh, not before I screenshotted it. Oh, great. No, it's okay. Now everyone can go shame him in public. <laughs> yeah, true. Or okay. her. Yeah, you never know. We don't know. know. John. Reed hit the thumbs down. Oh, jeez. John, you tell him no. Reed. Reed. Oh, that guy. Thank you. They're just hating that the bangs haven't made a comeback, and they won't ever. Every time wow, I see- Wow, that's two days in a row that your bangs have been brought up. Have been brought up on how bad they were? Yeah, well, I, was, I, I showed a picture to my friend last night because she was like, I don't think I've ever seen that. And I showed it and she goes, oh yeah, no. Oh no, yeah, no. <laughs> oh yeah, no. No, like I love you, but she was like, it's not that they're that bad, but you just look, it just looks better now. I'm like, thank you. I, I appreciate it. So Jeff Winbush taking Keep advantage of those new uh, stickers or icons. I don't know what they're calling them, but those are now available. People, it's like an emoji. People can buy those. Is that a pair lifting weights? It's a aqua pair. That's a pair. Yeah, but it's awesome. Thank you, Thanks, Jeff Winbush. You're our first for that workout sticker uh, participant. That's Appreciate awesome. Ya. Yeah. Go Niners. Yes, sir. Um, How about the new Old Scout? That's an oxymoron. I haven't had that. New Old Scout? <clears throat> the new Old Scout. What is the new Old Scout? People have been honest about doing some Old Scout. We need to do that at some point. Trev, I promise we'll work you. work out for I'm, <laughs> I want to do that shirt real bad. Yeah. I need to do some research on what I want it to look like. Because I want it to be for both men and women. Tony Bag of Donuts, uh, he was a fan of the bangs. It's not. It is Tony. It's not Joey. But it, oh, no, it's Joey. No, it's not Joey. Oh, it's Tony. Yes. Okay. Joey Bag of Donuts is Moe's. Deadlift for drams. That's good, too, but Chad hates the word dram. It's but you not. also don't like deadlifts, so it works out. The shirt's not for you. I don't not like deadlifts. I just don't deadlift. <laughs> Trev, I'm with you. We're, if you lived here, we would be like deadlift squad. There you go. This is, um, you can definitely tell it's finished. It, it has that, I'm a bourbon. Well, I used to be a bourbon, but other uh, things have happened to me. I'm going through some changes. I'm noticing flavors where there weren't flavors before. Huh? Type of thing. I'm talking about the bourbon. Oh. <laughs> she missed the first part. I did. I was like, what? You're. I heard I'm going through some changes. I was like... What? Oh, five-year MGP on that new um, uh, Old Scout. Okay. Hmm. Swan said he worked out in his bourbon shirt the other day. He got some compliments on the design. Oh, well, that's there nice. I think that's the uh, Ramones bourbon shirt. Yeah, the um, uh, Native Spirit mm. is how we officially call it. Mm -hmm. Which you can buy on our site, just so you know. I'm sure Trev will, has already plugged the URL. Mm. That's whiskeyambitions.com. Duh. Uh, Brent Bailey has a request that we need to review the Wildcatter 8-year, please. Oh, we've got Man, a bottle we opened. haven't talked about Wildcatter in a long time, and I feel like that's a mistake. I've, we it Really? But now I'm scared to talk about things. Like, it's a decent... Well, it's not that level. It's not that inexpensive if either. It, if, it was yeah, like 30 it was, bucks. If it was 10, 15 bucks less, then it'd be like, shut up. That would be this. the thing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's 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 a really solid 8-year-old, age-dated... Bourbon, I think it's probably sourced. I haven't really, I may have looked I'm into sure it at one point. I'm sure it probably but, is. Um, ugly ass bottle, but. But good, that's what makes it beautiful. Good, uh, yeah, good, 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 yeah. good. Yeah. Um, want to, uh, we got one other thing like, planned. Like, what are you doing? I'm going to stand up. Make okay. A, make a big sandwich. Can you turn the heat off while you're up? Sure. Because it is hot. I don't like it when the heat's on when I'm drinking bourbon. It's too hot. I got already got, got a bourbon coat on. I don't need any any extra. No extra coats? So what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. Any special plans? Trev, I made bread pudding the other day and thought of you. Stay tuned for some, maybe more on that. Sure. Just, you know. Ooh, while you're up, will you make me a sandwich? <laughs> a big sandwich? Turkey sandwich. Okay. Ugh, I was flipping through channels today and I, of course, landed on the Food Network and the Pioneer Woman was making a, uh, which if you don't know her, that's fine, but she was making a leftover Thanksgiving sandwich and I was like, what is she doing? The first thing she does, she's like, get out whatever bread you want and put um, 
Dijon mustard on it. And I was like, okay, what? This is yeah. this is weird. No. And then she was like, and then we also put cheese on it. And then we put turkey, you know, all the normal stuff, turkey and stuffing and gravy and cranberry sauce or something. And then she makes a panini out of it, which sounds pretty good. But I'm like, why the mustard? Where, where did that come from? Like, if anything, it's turkey and mayo. Let's be real. I, I think she's trying to, like, turn a, a panini into a um, Cuban. Kind of. It was if very she put intrig- pickles on there, it, that it would have been over for Chad. Um, it was intriguing, and I might try something at the TV. Cause like I'm really into like turkey and apple sandwiches, so I like the like the mm, fruit mm. with the turkey, and like a nice cheese. It's good. I like turkey with some with some jam, you know, jam. Right, and but that's why I feel like the turkey with the cranberry sauce as the spread oh, yeah. would be really good on a panini. And we do have a panini press now. Maybe we, we should. Hey, all we need is some bread. And she put like three tablespoons of butter on the outside of that bread. I was like, so okay, I take girl. One stick of butter. This for is one side not. Of the that's bread. like Paula Deen level. Like <laughs> this recipe calls for two tablespoons, but you know what? I'm just gonna throw a whole stick in. I'm like, that's I guess one way to do it. Yeah. You got anything left anywhere? <laughs> I don't. Uh, we need. Oh. Well, what's next? Well, there's a, there's a cowbell cheers. Well, I don't have anything to cheers with. Well, what would and you neither like? do you. Yeah, I got some. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take a little bit. Ooh, no. Nope. I mean, I do like the little book. Mmm. But I love <laughs> me some E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Fair enough. And look how we gotta, we can't let this sit in here like this. Right, right, right. We gotta be respectful of the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Since that's what this glass held, I will put some more of this back in there. I already rinsed it. Charlotte says, I'm new to your channel. I like Jack Daniels. Is it a bourbon? If not, any recommendations for me to try? Well, Charlotte, Charlotte. you ask a great question. This is a topic, first of all, thank you thank for the you super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Um, as we talked about earlier with Chad's running list of questions that he likes to ask master distillers and industry people when we can, this is one that like, we always want to ask, and I feel like people don't want to answer all the time. We, we, there are stances. It's kind of like a political it, question. It is. Some people will argue that it's not an option. It's black and white because of the law. Others are more like take a loophole stance to it. Mm-hmm. Um, we have never officially gone on the record about it. And the only reason for that is because I've been trying to gather information. Oh, do we miss Jake? Oh, we did miss Jake. We did but miss we'll Jake. Keep... Sorry about that, Jake. We'll get you here in a second. Um, well, turkey sandwich, that's great. We want to gather as much information and uh, as many viewpoints as we can. Hell, we'd even like to go down to Lynchburg and take the tour at Jack Daniels. Just to have, like, the inside try scoop. Try to talk to them, and although they make their opinion very well known. It's Tennessee. It's not a bourbon. It's not. It's Tennessee whiskey. It's, yeah. They so even if you tried ask to them. get legislation changed to support that, and I think it was kind of, um, some of it was approved by others. I think Dickel tried to get involved, and some of that was shot down. Anyway, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's bigger than we are. Yes. So that's why we need to talk to more and more experts about that before we... <laughs> Before we put out anything official about it. Um, it's been a long running debate. Yes. Because there are several different angles you can argue it from. Correct. We do not have an official answer. But to Jake. To Jake. Who says, Who wild says, turkey sandwich. Yeah. Thank you. That's what we'll do. Oh, that's another recipe I can do that's not baking. And that some people might actually like be able to. That would be like a beginner mm-hmm. level thing. Like you get some turkey, like a, a wild turkey, we'll call it a wild turkey panini, and it's meant to be paired with Turkey 101. And you eat it on Wild Turkey Wednesday. Or whenever you want. Which is a Wednesday before Thanksgiving. It is. Yes, there you go. What else um, did we used to call that? We called it, oh, it was just, instead of Black Friday, it was Blackout Wednesday. Black. It's the Wednesday before Black Friday, Blackout Wednesday. <laughs> it is actually, I think, the number one or the number two busiest day in the bar industry. Because everyone's in town visiting for Thanksgiving, but everyone knows they're going to have to spend the entire next day with their family. So they're like, get me out of here. I need to be. I'll just go meet up with all my college friends or whatever. Why are they saying no? Oh, I think they're saying no is E.A. They're weighing weighing in on the Jack. Oh, I see, I see. Is Jack a bourbon? Yeah. 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 It's an American whiskey and we can say that. Yes, it is. People have... Very strong opinions about this. It, so we don't want to be anything less than completely armed to the teeth with facts, interviews, exposés, hidden cameras. Right. Just like 
No, but seriously, like, Everything. I would love to do, I think yeah. that's the point of, like, why we want to do interview style with some people and get their mashup answers of, like, what, for all the arguments of why it is or isn't, because it is uh, very political. It is. Our friend, our friend Bill is in the chat, the Whiskey Dick. I can't believe up, there Bill? are 362 people watching this right now. You and guys are beasts. Yeah. Oh, thank thanks, you, Bill. Bill. You're a beast. It was great to hang out with you uh, again in Austin. Just wish we'd uh, been able to hang out even more. Alex gave us a $2 super chat. Thank you, Alex. You have a fun last name. I like it. Puffinburger. <laughs> that, that sounds like a character, and I like it. It sounds like a, a Pokemon. Jeff says, I'll be in Phoenix for Thanksgiving. Where can I find bourbon? Ooh. In Phoenix? That, I I've never been to Phoenix, so know. I don't know. Can someone who has uh, been to Phoenix or lives in Phoenix Bill, please help Bill, do you know the out? Phoenix bourbon situation? Yeah, who knows? Does anybody help know Help him out. I would, I don't know, I think you could probably Google Bourbon Bar Phoenix and there's probably at least a couple. If you're looking for pours, you're looking for bottles. I feel like he's um, probably looking for bottles. Probably looking for bottles, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm really, now I'm just thinking about that sandwich. <laughs> oh, Fighting for Sound uh, is in Phoenix. Oh, so maybe I... you can weigh in on that. Or, sorry, Fight for Sound. Did fight. I say fighting? I, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so fight. Um, Sarah I'm, is correct. I'm correct that he's looking for bottles. Bottles. Not okay, there's a Total Wine in Gilbert, Arizona, apparently. Cool. Yeah. Uh, there's a good bar in Phoenix called Waltz and Weiser's? Is that how that is? I don't know. Yeah? All right, thank you, Bill. Yeah, thanks. Check out the Whiskey Dick, Whiskey Dictionary. Um, I don't know if that's like YouTube, like now flagging me. I'm sure probably the, not, because he probably says it on his yeah, channel. Yeah, the Whiskey time. Dictionary. Demonetized. Mm. Uh, <laughs> right, Kyle wants to know how we get Blanton so easily. Honestly, we don't get it easily anymore. I think we... Because we got friends in good places. <laughs> um, Our Australian friends. Are you yeah, talking about like... Like all Blanton? I think they're just talking about like regular, regular Blantons. Um, if you look for it hard enough, you can find it. At you least have to be patient Kentucky. too. Yeah. If you know the right store to go on on the right day, they'll have like one case of Blantons. Yes. And it's usually Kroger always like will randomly get them on Tuesdays and Fridays, I feel like. Mm -hmm. But if you have to go to the right time, it's like right after lunch and they're all gone by the time you get off work. So. Yes. I've seen them more there than anywhere else. Correct. At, at a Kroger Wine and Spirits. I used to see them at Rite Aids. And I, I used to see um, people going through the boxes in Rite Aids and, looking for the different tops. Well, that's me sometimes uh, until I got them all. Um, and that's not me saying Rite Aids, as in some people say Kroger's or Walmart's. Did I say Kroger's? No. Okay. I'm saying multiple Rite Aids. So that is correct. <laughs> That's a little pet peeve of mine. People say Kroger's. It's Kroger. Ch er, Swan says that you're going to make the sandwich that was mentioned. The, the big podcast. sandwich? I don't know what that's, what that is. I'm going to make a big sandwich. Cool. Yeah. It was all a... Uh, I'll eat it, I guess. It, it, it was all just a reference just a to this other podcast that Perry and I both listen to called The mm -hmm. Weekly Planet. Todd, Todd Koopa. Koopa! Wow. Since I can't spend Thanksgiving with my bourbon family, I hope everyone has fun, safe, and bourbon-filled Thanksgiving with your loved ones. Love this group. Cheers, everyone. Wow, Todd Koopa. You are so sweet. A true gentleman and a scholar. That's a triangle and a cowbell. That's a stand-up We'll give you a cowbell human. first, and then Sarah will give you a triangle. Tell Tony we said happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Ding. Wow. Um, Heather says, go LSU, beat UGA. Sorry, John and Reed. Oh, <laughs> sorry, John and Reed. <laughs> Woo. Okay. And then we're going to do the other thing, right? Yes. Okay. But while I get that ready, we should talk about Spirits Network, which we are now a part of. We've actually been a part of for, uh, my for episode, a while. Thank well, you, Heather. I say my episode. It's Peggy Doe Stevens' episode featuring in a small role. Featuring Ludacris? Featuring Ludacris, okay. yeah. No, um, a small, small part in that. Yeah, um, if you'd like to the see the original Network. program that Sarah makes an appearance in. It's the Women's Whiskey Revolution, and that will come out this week yep. on the Spirits Network. And if you use our code... Um, BNVIP. BNVIP. That's B as in bourbon, and as in night, VIP as in very important person, obviously. Um, through the end of this month, which I know has 30 days in it, but... 
the odds of me getting that right um, in a VO are apparently not good because no, I. It was me. Oh, it was Chad. I, I did thought. It, I did it as a graphic. See, you know, I just assumed it was me that got it wrong. Um, but yeah, through the end of this month, you can use code BNVIP and get the base membership, which is the Explorer membership, for one dollar. Which you know, like if you want to see this episode, that's cool. You you could do the one month for the dollar, and you could see this episode because it won't come out anywhere else. And and if you don't want to, that's cool too. Um, but I just got to support my girl Peggy because yeah. she's my mentor and she's doing things like so many things. She's so talented. It's inspiring for me to. She's be, your mentor. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. Okay. She she truly is. So. Thank you to Eric. I'm just honored to be in a video with her and. We had a fun time. We did a little. We did a little interview yeah. situation. It was. It was really cool. It was fun. More on spirits here in a second. If you can read Eric, Eric says going to what cribbage? Cribbage for Thanksgiving and taking two bottles of Wild Turkey Masters Keep. Ooh, you are a good nice. Thanksgiving guest. Ooh, wee, that E. H. Taylor's good. All right. I know. <laughs> um, also, we're we're. We're going to be doing a, a, a video, another video, a short one, about the Spirits Network coming up soon because we have a coupon code that goes towards their two other membership options. You can get that, uh, you know, my advice would be go ahead and get that dollar membership, check it out. See if you like. Feel it out. I feel like you will. And then you can look into those other uh, options, which we'll have a coupon code here soon that will get you 10% off either one their middle or their top one. So spiritsnetwork.com. We'll do an inside scoop we're on members. that. We're members. Mm-hmm. Um, we're involved. Uh, Rich. Rich says, have a nice Thanksgiving. We'll be drinking some Boss Hog. Nice. That's Boss. I hope it's the Black Prince, but any any Boss Hog will do. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you to Whiskey Crusaders for allowing me to mm-hmm. have the one and only taste of the Black Prince that I've ever had and still think about all the time. Indeed. All right. We we've been meaning to get to this for a few weeks. Yeah, we were gonna do it last uh, live, but the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is its own monster, and um, it was a lot. Just couldn't get through it. Um, we did a, uh, an uncorking of this Baker's Thirteen Year uh, last two weeks ago. I two think. weeks ago, because yeah, last one was a flight fight, and it got cut out for time because we try to keep the things tight. But in there, we were both like. Um, I bet this would be really good over a rock. Like a big, yeah, yeah, big rock. So like, we should do that on live. Yeah. Again, that wasn't in the episode, but I remembered. Some people got to cut some stuff. Yeah. Um, cause no one wants us to drone on for 25 minutes. No. Uh, <laughs> as we say on our hour long show. Right. But that's different. That's different. Two different animals. You're here for the conversation. Yeah. So, uh, these guys who we talked about maybe a month or more, probably more ago, they send us uh, this, which is Isology. I think mm-hmm. we did the square ones in that episode. This is actually the um, the sphere, mm-hmm. and they also sent us like a smaller cubed one, which we used last night for cocktails, night. and that was really nice. So this is a shout out to them. Full disclosure, they did send us these, but this is really cool because their whole thing is with this type of technology, you get clear eyes. Now, I. This has been in the freezer for a while. It, it might have gotten a little cloudy. But, um, so they're in these little molds here. And... Yeah, we'll have to make new ones sometimes. It actually, did that's, that's, that's it's pretty, pretty good, good on the one side. Yeah, that's pretty good. I know when we did those squares, they were like... They were, they were, they were crystal perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. But yeah, these have been in there for probably longer than they intend. Yeah. Um, we also use tap water, but they say you can use tap water. You don't have to use distilled um, for like, them to be clear or not. Yeah, some of them have to, are like, you have to boil the oh, water that's, that's, and then you have to do this. That's pretty dang good. And of course, once we pour something over this, I think I it'll like it's be yeah clear up. So again, this is Iceology and it's by Dexas, D-E-X-A-S. We're having a um, holiday gift giving guy coming up soon. They're Spoiler. gonna be on there because we, we enjoy it. Yeah. I've uh, been doing that guy for the past three years. This will be our fourth year doing it, Sarah. I know. What? Yeah. This will be our fourth guide? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, because I just watched you all watch three them of them all? today. I can't believe. <laughs> that seems crazy to me. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so last year was 18, 17. Yeah, we started in 16. We don't drink tap water. We filter it. Yeah. Just, I'm weird about water, so. Yeah, we do filter. We do filter. Baker's 
You know how we feel about this if you watched that on Corking. If you didn't, it's good stuff. Go. Uh, what are our plans for Turkey Day? Um, Eat some turkey. Well, yeah. Um, I used to work for a company that does a uh, Thanksgiving meal for anyone who doesn't have someone to thanks celebrate Thanksgiving with. Um, and uh -huh. even after I stopped working there, I've still volunteered uh, pretty much every year for the past, I don't know. I don't know. However long. It's not, not, not important. Sure. Um, and so we, you just can you know, plate food or ha hand out food or do drinks or like whatever, but they open up restaurant space to accommodate those people and, and provide all the food. Um, so we'll do that in the morning. Yeah. It'll be our first year doing it together. Yeah. Oh, that's what married couples do. Mm. And then uh, my aunt's having something that evening and then um, on sat like the that weekend, his family's having a, a thing. So we'll mm -hmm. do all the things, well, multiple yeah. Thanksgiving celebrations. Doing the things. Um, Jason Baloo, which I love saying that. Uh, happy Thanksgiving from Fort Worth, Texas. You're awesome. Cheers. You're awesome. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, so it'll be fun. It'll be a nice little mix. And then my mom and I always go Black Friday shopping, like not the in a way of like, we're gonna kick somebody for a TV, but we just like, eh, maybe. I like it equally for the people watching and I get almost 90% of my shopping done in one day, which is nice. See Swan, Swan's Bye, heading Swan. out, his laptop is out of juice. Um, <laughs> so here we go, um, mm. yeah. See, that's how you know when I like something. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. It stands up so well. I mean, I know it hasn't really diluted yet, mm. but. See, but that's kind of what I like about these oh. is that it doesn't need to dilute too much. I don't want much. It just, at first I it like the it. chill yeah. and I like the little bit of dilution. With this, it really brings out that smoky note. Yeah. We could do, you know, whiskey stones, but those, I don't know. Okay. We like them sometimes. Sometimes, yes, but sometimes I'm funny about it, like texturally. It's yes. not my thing. Like, a little texture. I feel the same yeah. way about sashimi. Like, I love it sometimes, and other times I'm like, mm, that's not for me today. Uh, <laughs> it just depends on my day. Um, um, also, because we, you know, aren't, we're normally drinking out of our Glen Cairns, which are, one of them is out of stock right now. The other one is a little on stock, um, but they have been on order for several weeks, hopefully coming in soon. But, well, we do have fully in stock now uh, the It's Bourbon Night Rocks Glass, the Drink More Bourbon Rocks Glass. You can see how a full size ice ball still fits in these, and even the bigger, like two and a half inch ice But it ice makes balls. the pour, the small pour, feel not so sad. Yeah, these aren't like the big nine ounce rocks Which glasses. Which are pretty, but I feel like you really need to be making a, a, cocktail. a cocktail in those because these are more otherwise... a neat pour rocks glass oh, or like God. an ice ball. Don, do not tempt me. He says, what? come to Hawaii and I'll take you guys out for sashimi. Mm. <sighs> I gotta go to Maine. I gotta go to Hawaii. We gotta finish planning our honeymoon. All the things. Uh, 2020 will be a busy year, but I wanna come to Hawaii at some point. Do some hiking, go see some waterfalls, eat some sushi. Hypothesis proven. This stands up to a nice big ball of ice. It's really good chilled. You still get that that barrel, mm -hmm. that oakiness, yeah, that oak bomb, tamed down a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but super approachable. Not yeah. that it wasn't before, but man, yeah. Ah. The only thing about ice balls <laughs> is that it makes me want to drink faster, so that it doesn't. Correct. Um, <laughs> Gonna so come Bill, up to Washington State, Joseph. That's true. There you go. Hey, greetings from Bowling Green, another Kentuckian. Uh, Bill says I like how the ice ball. Uh, sorry, it's moving. I like how the ice ball fits within the circle of your logo. Oh. Well, that, isn't that cool? Synergy. Come to Illinois for corn. <laughs> it's not that far. Okay. Actually, I'll be in Chicago in January. I got all the travel plans. So Bill's also saying if you go to Hawaii, my suggestion would be to skip, what is that? O-A-H-U. Oahu? Is that Oahu? I th Oahu? Don. Oahu? I'm yeah, trusting I you. I guess it is. Uh, I've been three times in Maui, Maui and, and Kona. 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 Kona are the best in my opinion. Me with the pronunciations. It's hilarious. The fish name. We'll Uka have to get... Uka Uka Nuka no, 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 no. Um, uh, is it Huma Huma, 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 Huma Nuka Nuka, Nuka, Nuka Apua. 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 Come on, Don. Apua. Tell us we nailed it. 
I just need Don to like read it into a recording and then <laughs> upload that so we can all know what it is. We should probably just stop trying. Uh, I mean, that should be a video. Uh, Kentuckians try to pronounce. Kentuckians trying to pronounce things. Hawaiian names. While drinking. Because it's funny because like, I feel like this makes it a little bit harder to pronounce things sometimes. Yeah. Um, you know. <laughs> That's funny. When are the Bourbon Trail Tours? All the time. Always. All the time. Because some places don't do it on like Monday through Wednesday. Some places are closed on Sundays, which blows my mind. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall. <laughs> yeah, that's how I learned how to say it. He's like... I like it. He gets like, give me a letter. I'll name all the fish. Yeah. I what's, love the bartender. What's the rate on Baker's 13? Uh, the, pr the price? It's $100 a bottle. Retail. Uh, again, Swan left, but shout out to Swan for finding um, this bottle for us. Uh, Ron's Wood Turning Shop wants to know where's a good city to start the bourbon tour. Well, you have uh, several options. You can start in Northern Kentucky. Did you restart the thing? I did. Okay, cool. You can start in Northern Kentucky, um, so you could easily like fly yeah. into Cincinnati and then do the B line up there, which there's a lot of stuff. That's where Ian's beloved New Riff is. Um, our beloved there's group. i mean yes mine too yeah. uh the um there's OKBB. A boone county there's a lot of great bars and restaurants up there Old kentucky bourbon bar um second site mm -hmm. and some, there's a couple of there's a handful of they're yeah. a little bit different boone county uh, with those boone 12 county. year yeah. picks mm -hmm. oh. um and then you could always do the louisville uh there's the whiskey row which is pretty easy you just walk down and there's obviously a lot of um, Don's gonna give us the best. Sorry, I said fly into Cincinnati. Technically, the airport's in Covington. <laughs> it's true, but it's still called the Cincinnati Airport. Cincinnati Airport so. in Covington, Kentucky. It doesn't yeah. really make any sense. Yeah. Um. Anyways, so you can do Whiskey Row in Louisville, and then they have some stuff off off that that row, which yeah. you could be at in like twenty five minutes. Like Jeff the Creed's up there. The mm -hmm. um, what Kentucky Artisan, some other stuff. Yep, there in Crestwood. Um, Bullet's not on there, but you can go there. Uh, then you could go to Bardstown. There's a ton mm -hmm. to do in Bardstown. If you come to Lexington, you could be at Buffalo Trace in 30 minutes, Four Roses in like 40 minutes, Woodford. Woodford, Castle and um, Key. Yeah, so you can do like that whole area, like Frankfurt and Versailles. You could also do, in Lexington, you could do um, James E. Pepper. James E. Pepper, yep. yep. Bluegrass Distillers. Mm -hmm. um, you go to OBC Kitchen, which you're just raving about all the we time. Love. You go to Bluegrass Tavern, it's an amazing yes. bar. You can go to Bell's Cocktail House. Yes. Uh, There's a lot of places. Yeah. Oh, uh, Bourbon on Rye. Bourbon on Rye. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good lot, stuff. Lots of good places. Alex, thanks again. Alex, thank you for that super chat. Puffin Burger. <laughs> Ver Jigglypuff. Yes, Adam Terry, it's Versailles, you not gotta, Versailles. You We're not in all. France. If you come here and say Versailles, someone will They're gonna slap say, you. You, you can get out. We you know, we don't take kindly to people who pr pronounce it Versailles yeah. around here. You can say that, but good luck. <laughs> yeah. It's Versailles, okay? It's Versailles. Sorry, but if you come here, everyone who lives in Versailles <laughs> calls it Versailles. Yes. It's not Versailles. They will think that you're an uppity tourist if you come here and say Versailles. There but I feel like there's some other places where... The, it's similar. Oh, like, and rosebuds. Todd Koopa loves rosebuds. Todd loves yeah. rosebuds. Uh, Jose. Why did I say that weird? Jose. I put the wrong em emphasis on the wrong syllable. Says, uh, and don't forget to join Patreon for only a dollar. Oh, thanks, Jose. Starting at a dollar. Uh, yeah, you get those Drink More Bourbon podcasts. Those that, are actually. That, uh, Swan was just on. Perry's going to be on one soon. We're coming out with another yeah, one. Yeah, we do a, those. We've got a, a, a broader topic with all four of us cut into it. That'll They're be fun. coming at the... Uh, um, it's like how you pronounce Arkansas. All right, Travis. Okay, point taken. We Honestly, say, if you come to Lexington now, I'm convinced that you Arkansas. have to go to La Deville. It's my favorite. Oh, La Deville. A it's a French place. Great French restaurant. Mm. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. La Deville. La Deville. La Deville. Um, not La Deville, hmm. but whatever. Monica says OBC is delicious. Monica knows. Hey, Monica, Ooh. did you send us something recently? She did. She texted me. I told you that. No, you didn't. I, I swear didn't? I said Monica texted me that she was going to send something, and ah, then we got something. Okay. I mean, I had no and doubt. And I texted her, thank you. I had no doubt I it was think. from you. I, I don't, swear to I don't God think I we did. had this conversation. but In my head, we talked about this. Thank you, Monica. Um, Staying up for Rick and Morty, not 
tonight. So we'll no. have to catch it on the replay. We'll catch it tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, as you're saying, lots of um, lots of ways you can do the bourbon trail. It's true. Starting there up north, options. Louisville, Lexington. I think what you would want to do is probably make a list of the places you're most interested in, and then you can group them like what's in Bardstown, what's in Louisville, what's in northern Kentucky, what's in around Lexington, and then see if there's... If a lot of them fall within one area, then I would say do that. Now, the only thing about Bardstown is there's not a lot of hotel options. And right. Mamie's oh, Kitchen. Oh, Bardstown Bourbon Company. Yes. Mm. How could we forget that? Mamie's Kitchen for their pie. Their pie. Oh, my we God. We got some people in the in the chat that can oh attest to the God, pie. Oh, my God. The pie. Yes. The pie. It's good stuff. Well. Hey, Shane is buying some Isology Cubes. Boom. Dudley's is still here, Michael. Um... Yeah. And they're, I also really like Dudley's. Um, there's a good Italian place downtown. They have pretty good food uh, called Portofino's, but their bourbon list is actually really underrated. I feel like Italian places have underrated bourbon lists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I don't know why. I think it's because everyone goes there and orders the wine, and so then you see something, and you're like, how is this this price here? It's good. <laughs> pie. Woodrew. Woodrew pie. We got a couple Woodrews in the chat. That's a, that's a, that's a meetup. That's an in-joke. It's an in-joke from the meetup. <laughs> Where can I get your bling? Fight for sound says. Trev Wilson will tell you. No, it's uh, whiskeyambitions.com. Yes, and indeed. We, uh, what happened to Hops to Go earlier this year, Nate wants to know. You know, it's hard out there for a small business, especially when you've got t two total wines coming into town and yeah. you've got multiple liquor barns in the game and other um, well-established, locally-owned, you know, liquor stores it's it's tough yeah hey caleb's gonna be here in april lexington and bargetown nice there you go trev is reminding the chat to be sure to hit that uh thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed already we would love for you to join the ranks you can do that we'd love to love to have you up here if you're watching this on the replay probably right about now we're gonna have that button right up here that you could hit subscribe some suggestions down here of sure. other videos to join us in I want to thank everybody for hanging out with us on another great Sunday. Thanks so much. And thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. As I go over to the stop button. Found it. <laughs>